And I just focus it by twisting the focusing ring very, very slightly. I know it's roughly near infinity, and then I get it roughly where it is on the back of the screen. But on the back of the screen, because it's such a wide angle lens, that distance, is, the tree is so, so small that I'm struggling to see it. So what I would use is this loop. So again, we zoom right in, we're going into the center of the lens. We want it center point focus. We don't want to look around the edges of the uh, lens. We want to look straight down the middle of the lens. And that's where I've got that tree lined up. I then put this on my eye and I'd move up right up close to the lens. And what this is giving me now is this is giving me a massive good screen in front of my eye. And then I can now fine tune this. It's finally, we're talking, we're moving this focus wheel a millimeter at a time. Just a sixteenth of an inch, just, just to move enough to get that tree as sharp as I possibly can. And every time I do it, I just check and look. And I look on the top of the lens and I can see roughly where it's lined up at. So when I'm going to take the picture, I'm going to put this on a two second timer so there's no camera shake. I'm going to hit the button, let it take the picture. And then I'm now going to view the picture. So I press on the back of the camera, zoom right into 100%, get my loop back up again. And I'm just going to have a look and see how sharp that is. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But now I'm going to have to underexpose it slightly because we're in sort of a dark area. So I'm going to underexpose it. So I've got just the sky and just that tree in the background. And I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to look on the back of the tree, right away in the distance. And I'm just going to mess with the focus ring until, for me, it's just coming into focus. And I'm just checking on the top of my camera as well where that's actually lining up because every time I do it I'm coming roughly in the same position to where I've already marked it and this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to take another image of that two second time so there's no camera shake. We're shooting at f2. We should be shooting at f2. We're shooting at f2. This way that is the smallest focal distance. We're going to just put that live view back on again and we're going to zoom back in as far as we can and we're going to check it with the loop because this is the closest I can get to this screen because this screen's now massive in front of my eyes and I can see all the little branches on the tree so that's about as sharp as that's possibly going to get and then what I would tend to do there's different ways of doing this but I'm happy to do what I'm going to do I'm going to show you what I'm going to do I have a small sharp knife and all I would do then is just where the little spot is on the top of the camera I'm just going to mark two very fine lines right on the top and I'll show you what it is I'm doing. I'll zoom right in so you can see what I'm doing just there. I've got the center spot there which is your focus point and I'm just going to put two little lines on the top of my lens. Now you can put a piece of tape over the top, put a little bit of tape and mark it with a pen. But this is my lens and I'm happy to do that and if I pass it on to anyone else I can actually say the two tiny little lines on the top there are actually my focus points at infinity. So, so I'm happy to do that on my lenses, but everyone else, you know, you do what you're happy to do. Um, don't go scratching your lenses if you don't want to do it. So that's now is my focus point. If I'm going out at night and it's going to be dark, I've normally got a torch with me. So I know I can get on the top of there, I can line that up, put it on those two lenses, bang. And I know that's going to be sharp every single time. Um, I'm also now going to do, because I've already done this lens, I'm going to do the same on another lens. So I'm just going to swap the lenses over and I'll come back to you. Alright, so lens cap on, camera off, off with this lens, and we're going to swap this over. Now I'm being very careful because I've actually got all my gear balanced on the front of my car, which is there. So we're going to lock this lens on, like so, take off the lens cap. But there's nowhere on the front of this lens to mark. Now I can try marking the two barrels, but as this barrel moves, and this barrel moves, there's actually no way, I'll show you this, so we've got 
this barrel moves there for your zoom and this barrel moves so there's no way of actually marking this lens for a focus point so you would have to use probably a fixed focal length lens which is something I've just learned right in front of you live so I can't do that with this lens I can't set this lens up to ultimate infinity because there's no way of doing it the same would go for this one I was gonna do my wide angle lens and again because I've got a focusing you know I've got a zoom barrel on this one and I've then got a focusing barrel on this one I can't then do the same on this and set that up so proof is in the pudding that that's the only one I know which is truly sharp at infinity and that's the one lens I use anyway for my nightscapes so I'm going to end that there and call that a day because I can't go any further than that the only thing I will remind you to do is to set all your dials back to normal again and always flick my lenses around to f8 because if I go to a grab two or grab a grab a lens quickly and chuck it on I want it to be sharp straight away I don't want to leave it wide open so yeah that's all I'm going to do quick five minute video how to set up your little Samyang and uh, yeah I know I've got a Canon on the front and a Fuji on the back it doesn't make any sense does it but yeah this is the Samyang you can see that this is the Samyang 12 millimeter 1.2 NCS CSX whatever that means <laughs> anyway thanks for watching ciao for now